Man, I really love this Joker figure. It was just so much fun. Hmm, but it just feels kind of weird not having any of his other fellow partners here on the shelf with... Okay, that's that music again. Does that mean... Oh, yes it does! There we go. Hello everybody and welcome to the G Kaiser Age. My name is Lucian G Kaiser and today we're going to be reviewing the Figma Persona 5 figure of Miss Lady On herself, Panther. So let's get started. G Kaiser Age launching. Hello everybody and welcome back to the G Kaiser Age. My name is Lucian G Kaiser and like I said today we're going to be taking a look at Miss Lady On Panther from Persona 5. And of course she doesn't come with Morgana but God knows I cannot let Morgana go away because he will not go away as long as she is around. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure of Miss Lady On here. As you can see, she comes with her stylistic whip weapon from the game. The only unfortunate downside for this figure and is this particular item because the whip is actually not like a wire or bendy wire. It's actually connected in sections. So you can take out certain sections to shorten it or change the angle or even rotate the sections to create different angles. But honestly, I would have preferred if it was like a bendy wire inside there underneath the plastic. But that's all right. It's a minor nitpick really for the figure itself. We're going to go ahead and take the whip off though so we can talk about the posability. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Put that to the side there and go ahead and pull her off the stand and as you can see very well detailed face and mask her hair is on ball joints so you can pose her hair in different ways so you can make it look like it's flowing with the air so once again if she is catwoman off of a building you can make it look like she's in free fall before whipping out her whip to catch a ledge or an outcropping or something and of course we got the tail once again it is not a bendy wire tail but it is segmented so you can kind of change the tail angles yeah all right, and then head articulation, left and right. She can do a 360, but once again, like with Joker, we are not going to snap her neck. That would be very bad. <clears throat> Arms, ball joints, of course, at the shoulders, just like with the Joker figure. Allows for an excellent range of movement. Ball joint at the elbow. Allows for a nice bend once again. Same thing for the other arm. So it makes for some fantastic posability with the figure. The chest area can bend up and down. It's on a ball joint so you can get some nice rotation on there. <clears throat> Pardon me lady on. And then legs. Same nice ball joint at the thighs there and then nice bend at the knee once again and the same poseability for the feet as well like with joker a little side to side nothing huge forward and back a little rotation because of the ball joint there but more than enough to get some fantastic and dynamic poses but as you can see, the figure is extremely well detailed on her outfit. And like with Joker, she comes with a load of accessories. So let us go ahead and put her back on the stand and take a look at those accessories today. Put her hair back down. 
I'm sure she would appreciate that. That. Great looking figure, I love it. So, onward, another bag of Figma accessories and fun. So let's go ahead and pull this open. Pour those guys out. Instructions, the usual. She's got this com comically large fan. And of course her submachine gun. Very nicely detailed on that. We've got front hair piece for when she does not have her mask on. All the hands again on a hand rack. She's got her victory pose fingers there. Open hands, closed hands as usual. A replacement ball joint. Oop. Okay, those things really love falling out of my hands. We got an extra adapter for her stand with an angle on it. And then we've got her not very pleased face. And then we've got her winking face right there. So she's got that nice wink going on. So let's go ahead and do a quick little face swap. Once again, just pull off the mask with a little bit of extra hair part. And this time we're going to swap out the face. Pull the face off. And we'll put on her winking face. Put that there. Slide that in. Put the hair piece back on the front there. And now we've got Lady on with her classic wink. Very cool. Go ahead and put her whip back on. And that's another thing that I don't like about the whip. Um, the grip on there isn't perfect. It's very slippery because the whip is like laminated with a glossy cover. So the whip will like to slip and slide a little bit in her hand. But otherwise, a fantastic looking figure and definitely worth picking up. If you love Persona 5 and you love Lady On, this is definitely a figure to get. And I'm pretty sure little Morgana here definitely agrees with me but again I want to thank you here for joining me here in the G Kaiser age it was fantastic getting some nice Figma figures from some of my favorite series and especially this particular series of Persona 5 if you guys like what you see here you can pick up this figure from Hobby Link Japan Big Bad Toy Store and of course Amazon as well but I definitely recommend supporting the Big Bad Toy Store or Hobby Link Japan they are both fantastic sites I got this one from Hobby Link Japan itself so definitely if you love Persona 5 and you love Lady On and the other characters because their other characters will be released soon enough in the next couple of months I'm going to definitely pick those up because I want the whole Phantom Thief crew so I look forward to getting those figures and review them as well. Keep an eye out on my Facebook and my Twitter page for updates. And let me know in the comments below. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And let me know what you think of Persona 5, what you think of this figure, what you think of the character, and all your favorite fun moments from the game. My name is Lucian G. Kaiser here in the G. Kaiser Age. Signing out until the next Phantom Thief heart-stealing battle.